hey what's up everyone uh, welcome to notes and welcome to part 4 of our key clock series uh, in this video our main agenda will be to understand about user groups and uh, uh, the global realm roles okay which are global for every realm in key clock okay uh, so let's start the proceedings without wasting our our time so so here you can see that i have a white board opened in which today we will discuss about uh, the user groups okay so let me just write this down so we will be discussing about the user groups and the second uh, is about our uh, realm roles okay so these are the two concepts which we will be targeting today uh, so uh, let's let's understand that how how this works in 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 our key clock context okay uh, so the very first thing is obviously our, our users so let me just bring our our user if for now and let's say for now this is our user okay and let's say this user is for now uh, it's ahmed okay and this is our very first user okay so what key clock does is uh, key clock help us to provide roles to specific to our users okay so what we can do is that we can directly assign a role to this specific user ahmed okay and these roles are known as uh, the global realm roles okay so what happen is that let me just bring in a rectangle okay so let's say it's it's our key clock instance okay and inside our key clock instance what we will be having is we will be having a specific realm okay so let's say this is our our specific realm inside our key clock okay and this realm is known as our, our to do realm which we have created in our, our previous video okay so this is our to do realm and inside that to do realm uh, what we will be having is we will be having our our users okay so let me just make it smaller if i can okay so this is our very first user which will be specifically for this to do realm okay and let's say uh inside our realm for each specific realm uh, there is a uh, there is a option uh, which is known as the global realm roles okay so these are all the roles which will be for for this to do realm specifically okay and we can create new roles we can edit roles or we can you know delete roles according to our needs okay so what happen is that these roles are specific for this to do realm and we can assign these roles directly to any user so it will be something like like this okay so let's say it will be something like this so we can directly assign uh, the roles specific to uh, the users specific for this to do realm okay so we can assign directly the roles to specific user and these roles are known as the global realm roles which are global to this realm only okay if we'll be having any other realm something like this let's say this realm is something maybe erp realm okay so erp r e a l m erp realm for that the roles will be different for this erp realm okay and those will be assigned to specific users as well okay so let's just uh, go back for now and let me just focus on this for right okay so this is what uh, the realm roles are which are global for uh, the specific realm and which can be assigned to any user okay the second option is obviously uh, the user groups okay so inside each realm uh, we are also having groups okay we can group users Uh, uh based on different roles as well okay so what there are so let me just make it a one more rectangle right over here so these are some what called the groups okay so these are groups okay so what we can do is we can you know uh, assign any user to these groups and then we can assign roles to this groups as well okay so let's say for now this is connected somewhat like this okay so we can also assign roles to specific groups and then uh, we can assign we can add some users in that groups as well okay so this is the overall concept here okay so now what why why this is beneficial why why do we why do we have groups uh, although we are having roles we can directly assign roles but the question here is that why do we have groups if we can assign roles directly uh, to the user okay so obviously uh, in our context uh, it depends from application to application there are scenarios in which you can you have different group of users and for every user you want that yeah this specific roles should be for this group and this specific roles should be that group okay so let me uh, illustrate that concept here so let's say if, if you are having a, a to do application so it's our uh, to do uh, full stack app and let's say it's our requirement for our application that we will be having two set of users okay and one uh, let's let's write that down so let's say uh, one set of user uh, will be obviously our our normal users okay let's say our normal uh, users and that users will uh, can only create read update so let's say it's curd for to do okay so they can only uh, you know create read and update their uh, specific to do so let me just change the spelling for now it's to do okay 
So this is one group of users and let's say we are having another group of users which are the admin users okay and they are not normal users but they are uh, the admin users and they can you know uh, change all the admin settings like uh, they can uh, create or uh, maybe uh, let's say curd uh, a curd for users okay so what what they have they have the role of uh, creating reading and updating all the users which are using their applications which are these normal users right so these are two specific groups of users so what we can do is we can create one group right over here and we can assign them the role of curd user and then we can just throw all the users in that group and so automatically that role will be assigned to uh, to that group of people okay and same goes for the normal users as well okay so that's one way of uh, using uh, groups in your application okay so that's the overall concept here let me just zoom out for now so yeah that's the overall concept we can directly assign roles if you want but, or let's say if you want to split users into different groups and each groups will be having their own specific role so that's one way of uh, also assigning roles uh, to that specific users okay so so without without wasting, wasting our time let's let's uh, get to our practical demonstration so let's say for now uh, i'm back to my uh, key clock administration console and for the last we uh, you know that we have created our two different users one was john and the second one was Ahmed. okay so what we can do is if let's say i want to assign john a specific role so i can directly go uh, to that john settings and the user details of john and i, I can go into this role mapping tab and I can directly assign a specific role uh, for to that user but uh, for the first step we know that for assigning roles directly to the user we have to first create our, our role specific to this realm okay so for that what you have to do is to you have to come to your uh, realm roles and inside this you can create any role uh, depending on your on your application needs okay so let's say I want to create a role and let's say it's our curd for to do so okay so this role will be specific uh, to curd in which we can state uh, that this the description can go something like this that uh, this role uh, this role can uh, read uh, update delete uh, and view all the specific uh, to do's okay so that's one way of creating role so let's save this thing and now you can see the role is created and if you again click on this realm roles you can see that the curd to do's role has been created okay so now let's come back to the users and let's say for now uh, i want the john to be having this role okay so let's click on this john and let's go to our, our role mapping and from there i can assign the role directly to that specific user so let's assign role and then i have to set this curd to do's this uh, role which we have created right now and once you click on assign so this role will be assigned to this specific user john you can see that it is assigned here and it is being listed right over here okay so that's one way of assigning um, roles to the specific user uh, so if i come back to users you can if i go back to john and again go to role mapping you can see that the role is assigned okay to john only but let's say if i if i want if i go to this amit uh, and if i go to role mapping so you can see that the role of curd user is not assigned to this uh user which is Ahmed. okay so for that you can again go to assign role and you can assign that role as well okay but for now what i want to do is i want to let's say uh, we have created another uh, role which is our admin role so i want uh, this uh, user Ahmed to be admin okay so for that i have to create a realm role and let's create our our role and let's say for now it will be our admin role so let's say this is the uh, admin uh, for to do uh, realm okay for now let's let's create this role so let's say the role is created and if i come back to realm roles you can see that i am also having a role of admin okay and then if i want to assign this role to the user ahmed i can just come over here to ahmed go to role, role mapping and can assign the role directly to uh, here ahmed and let's click on this role admin and yeah let's assign and you can see that the role has been assigned to this ahmed okay so that's one way of you know assigning a roles directly to your users uh, in which you can create your realm roles and can directly assign them to user okay now let's understand the concept of groups okay so now let's say uh, uh, why why do we need groups and uh, what are the benefits of groups we have already discussed this in this scenario okay so let's say uh, let's go and create our, our very first group okay so if you come to this groups you have the option to create a group okay so let's say i want to create a group and let's say uh, uh, let's name this group as uh, admin group okay so let's create this thing this is one one uh, admin group and let's create one more group which is our normal users group okay 
so that's one way of creating groups in which we can say yeah it's one admin group and normal users group okay so now what i have to do is uh, i know that yeah once i create this group so admin group can, will be having the role of the admin and the normal users group will be having the role of that normal user role in which they can create read and update the uh, to do so what i can go is i can go to this admin group and from there i can go to role mapping and i can assign a role okay as so, so this is our admin group so it will be having our admin role so let's assign this thing from now so it's assigned and let's go back to groups again okay so let's go back to groups and let's go to our our normal users group and in this we can also assign our role and let's say this is our curve to do so in which they can only create read and update their uh, to do so let's assign that okay so now for now if you come back to groups you can see that the admin group is having the role of admin okay and if you come back to groups so the normal users group is also having the role of curd to do so okay so these are the two different ways in which we have created groups and assigned them roles okay now what we can do is we can you know just go to users and let's say for now uh, we have assigned them roles separately without groups okay but now i want to assign them roles by adding them uh, adding the users to the groups okay so let's go to john and let's say another role mapping and let's i want to delete this assignment okay so let's say cut to do's and i'm going to unassign this role so let's remove it from here as well and let's go to ahmed and let's go to our role mapping and let's i want to uh, unassign this role admin as well so let's unassign okay now what i want i want them to provide roles through by adding them to these groups okay so that's another way of assigning roles to to the users okay so now let's come to admin group and let's say for now uh, if you click on this members tab you can see that there is no members in in this group okay so let's click on add member and let's say since this is our admin group so i will add ahmed to this group so let's add ahmed for now let's uh, go back to groups and let's go to normal user groups and let's add a member in which this will be john will be the member for our normal user group so let's add this thing okay so that's the way how you create groups how you assign them members and all these roles so whenever you add a user to a specific group so that role will automatically be assigned to that user okay so if you come to users so since we know that we have added john to to the you know a normal user group so it will be having the role of that curd uh, to do okay so if you go to role mapping and you so you just uncheck this thing which is hide inherited roles you can see that the curd to do's role is being assigned uh, to this user automatically and it is being inherited from that group okay so since this user john is a part of that normal users group it is the role is automatically being inherited from that group okay and same goes for the user uh, ahmed okay so if i go to ahmed i go to roles mapping and i just you know uncheck this hide inherited uh, inherited roles you can see that the admin role is automatically being inherited from that group and that group was this admin group which we have created for now okay so that's that's the concept of you know users groups and roles how how we uh, create all that stuff and how we assign uh, roles to users directly and with groups as well okay so that's one way so before ending ending the video i just want to uh, give you one uh, more extra tip or extra configuration uh, and and that can be uh, uh, common in in every full stack uh, application scenario okay so let's say for a full stack application development we know that uh, admin users will be always be you know different they will be having different roles as compared to normal users so so let's say in case of normal users whenever the user sign up for our this to do application so automatically they will be assigned our our normal users uh, role okay so let's say i want them automatically to be a part of that normal users group so the question here is that how how we can do that okay so if i go to our our realm settings okay and inside this you can see that we are having this user registration uh, uh, tab okay so if you click on this user uh, registration tab here you can directly assign a role to all the users which will be registered in in this specific realm okay so let's say if i click on assign role and i just click on the skirt to do so i know that whenever any user will sign up for for our this application to do application they automatically will you know will be having this role of creating to do's in which they can create read and update all their to do's okay so if i just click on this assign so you can see that now whenever any user will register for this to do realm this role will be automatically assigned to that user okay so let me just give you a quick, quick demonstration so let's say if i if i uh, open a new tab and let's go with our local host at 0 at 0 realms and in our case the realm is to do okay so let's go with to do and let's go with account okay so let's sign in okay so right now i i have uh, disabled the user registration option so you can easily go in realm settings into our our login and just turn on this user registration on so once you turn this thing on 
and refresh this url you can see that uh, now the registration is available so i can click on register and let's now register with with some name uh, some different name so let's say for now it's uh, maybe it's like asad okay so asad and last name is javed and asad uh, at the rate uh, example.com for now okay and let's keep the username as same as first name which is asad and let's keep the password same admin and admin okay so yeah that's one way so let's register this thing so once you register this thing you can see that you have already been uh, logged into your key clock account management console so let's save this thing and here you can see all the personal information okay so all the personal information account security sign in device activity and all that stuff okay okay so uh, now the user has been created and again if, if you if we move back to our key clock administration console so since we have enabled that yeah whenever any user register uh, for this specific to do realm so assign them this roles which is called to do okay so if you go back to users you can see that yeah now we are having this user of asset in our list and if you click on this asset you go to their specific user details and click on role mapping and just uncheck this one which is hide inherited roles if you uncheck this you can see that we are having this curve to do's role which is automatically being assigned to that user who have registered for this specific to do realm okay so that's one way of assigning a default roles whenever the user registers okay so for that you have to go to realm settings and uh, under this user registration tab you can define those roles okay so that's the power of uh, key club okay so for now i think we have discussed majority uh, of the uh, configuration parameters and options which we can perform from the key clock administration ui in the coming on a video and in the next video we will jump to our our main you know business use case our main uh, point of learning in which we will discuss that how uh, we can secure our full stack applications uh, with the help of uh, key clock okay so since our full stack application we know that every full stack application has two parts uh, one is obviously our, our front end okay so that is our our front end okay it can mean react uh, view or spelt or any other framework and one is the back end part okay so that is the back end part okay so we will first you know jump on to uh, to our front end applications and we'll see that how we can secure our front end applications with this key clock okay so this will be something like this okay and same goes for the, for the back end after once we are satisfied uh, by you know securing our front end applications we will jump on to our back end applications and we will see that how we can secure our back end applications with the help of this uh, key clock instance okay so uh, yeah that's it for now i think uh, we in the coming on videos we will see that how how we can interact with our front end and back end with with key clock okay so yeah if you're liking my content so do like and subscribe the channel see you in the next video thanks for watching